guys we're back for the story we got more foam on the wall we got a wide angle lens we got all this new dynamic movement we're back guys for a story of course what else this is what i'm known for we got a wider shot here new foam um we got wide angle lens as well for more dynamic movements you can see my whole torso. Wow. <laughs> Look at this kid. You can see my legs if I pull them. If I pull them up here. Oh, yeah. We're going to be using a lot of that in our storytelling. Yeah, people always confront me on the street and they're like, Dallas, your stories on YouTube, they're great and all, but you know what they really need? Just more leg. <laughs> yeah. You still have enough, enough leg in your stories. You're right, guys. You're right. Anyways, also you can see my full body for uh, maybe some covers. But that's not what we're doing right now. We're sticking to the story. You'll have some covers soon enough. You'll have some originals soon enough. Be patient, guys. That's all I ask. That's all I ask for you guys is to be patient. It takes me like three years in between videos. Just calm down a second. It's fine. Your life will go on without Dallas. You don't know how many times I have to say that to people. <laughs> Anywho, today is going to be a story about tennis. That's what we're talking about. The tennis is a sport. I'm not good at intros, but I loved it. That was the point of my story. Um, I was coached by Coach Butler for most of the time I was playing tennis throughout high school. Coach, he's actually not around anymore. He passed away. Um, a little bit back. So one of the things that I learned about tennis like really early on was that like the smallest details like really matter. Like if your racket is slightly tilted up, that ball is going to go flying. If it's slightly tilted down too much, it's going to go into the net. If it's, you know, there's like so many things that can go wrong in tennis. And so one phrase that like really stuck with me that someone said to me was tennis is a mind game. Like you can get to the ball every single time, you can hit the ball with your racket every single time, but if your head is not in the game, that ball is not going to go where you want it to go. And so one of the things that I strongly believed with this tennis is a mind game is that the subconscious had a high effect on the game. So for instance, in our training we were taught not to use negatives. So say I was on the court, there's the ball machine, it's firing balls at me, <laughs> I'm on the court. The ball machine is going, it's firing balls at me constantly. <laughs> oh, grow up, Dallas, grow up. Okay, anyways. So, balls are big. <laughs> Why is this happening? <sighs> anyways, so the ball machine, it would shoot a tennis ball at me, and I would hit it, and it goes straight into the net. So, the idea was not to say, oh, I'm doing it too low, I'm hitting it too low, I'm angling it down too much. You're supposed to think positively, so like, I need to hit it higher. I need to angle my racket higher. Because otherwise, your brain, it just doesn't understand the negatives. And it's just thinking, instead of the, I can't angle it lower, it's just thinking, angle it lower. That's all you're thinking in your, in your subconscious. You're just going, angle it lower. And you're just going to keep doing that over and over again. If that makes any sense. It made sense to me. I mean, I believe it. I have the balls to prove it. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, we had this one game against this one school. Very descriptive, I know. I don't remember, this was high school, guys. I just, I remember how fun it was in the game. So I was playing this guy's singles, 1v1, just mano a mano, mano e mano. Ah, oh, cry up. My friends, I think, were already done because they were sitting outside the fence of the tennis court and so they would cheer in between points but they would only cheer when he did something wrong. So say we're in the middle of a volley, me and him, like, you know, hitting the ball back and forth. I'm not sure how much you guys know about tennis, I'm sorry. Anyways, tennis knowledge, yay! So, we're doing a volley. Do you remember what volley means, kids? Anywho, say I return one of its hits during our volley. I rush the net, he hits it back, I jump up into the air, boom, smash it down to the ground. Victory, points mine, match, game, set. Game, set, match, it's fine, whatever. Point system in tennis, do we wanna learn that right now? No, it goes on for years. So I smash the ball into the ground, my friends I look over to them at the fence, and they're just like, good job, good job, yeah, 
All right. Now, for instance, say I return it straight to him. I don't know, stupid of me. Why would I play the angle styles? Don't never return straight to the person. He hits it, gets a little too excited, hits it too hard, goes up, out. Boom. Look to my friends. <laughs> Good job, Dose! Yeah! Get the picture? See? See how in scenario one, it was me who scored the point with my skill and precision, whereas with the second instance, he just kind of made a mistake, but then that's when they cheer and they're like, yeah, good job, Dallas. That way it gets into the guy's head and he's like, what the, he didn't even, he didn't even do anything. That was, which is literally what would happen. And I've had a guy, I've had a guy from this like delinquent school smash his racket on the ground from playing with me. So back to the real story though. So I realize with my friends cheering that this guy is just getting beyond pissed. Like his pants were soaked, that's how pissed he was. And so I think to myself, I'm like, okay, all right, yeah, all right, okay, this guy is weak-minded. We can play some games here. We can have some fun. Especially since I had begun to lose, I wasn't the greatest at tennis, I wasn't bad. He had the upper hand here. So I realized that he kind of fed off of my anger, because I'd, I'd get a little <clears throat> tense in the games, and when he would score, you know, you get like, <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> and I could see that, like, he was getting excited about this, so I decided to flip the script on him. Flip the script? Flip the script? There we go. There's a T in there. It ain't herbal either. So what I decided to do is that whenever this guy would score, I would just start laughing. The entire game, I had the biggest smile on my face. So imagine this, we'd be volleying back and forth, he gets one on me, I just, I can't get there in time, it's fine, it's whatever, the ball flies by. <laughs> what is, what, was it, was it out? That was totally in. <laughs> no man, no man, it was in, it was in. Good job man, good job. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, oh man, no, no, let's just play it. Just, just serve it, man. Let's just serve it. So now he's getting ready to serve. <clears throat> okay. I just smiled like a freaking madman <laughs> for the rest of the game. And whenever he would get a point, I would just start laughing. I was just having, I was having a great time. Honestly, at this point, I didn't care if I won or, or lost. I was having a, <laughs> just a grand time. And this guy, oh my gosh, he was about to explode with anger. For like the whole game, he'd say it like under his breath so that I could barely hear him. He'd be like, what is this guy freaking laughing? Why is he laughing? I'm scoring! There's no reason for him to be laughing! Long story short, I ended up winning the game actually by some miracle. Like, barely though. It was still barely. It was very close. But this dude is so angry. And so it felt so good. <laughs> and he like goes up to his coach afterwards and the coach is like, What? I don't- You- You had him! Why did you throw the game? Coach, you don't- You, you don't understand. He was- He was laughing. Why was he laughing? He was losing. <laughs> he was laughing? Are you, you... You lost the game because he was laughing. There's nothing in the rule books against saying that, like, you can't laugh. So I'm sorry, but you're just an idiot. <laughs> but yes, tennis was some great times. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Right, son. And I played um, uh, the sport ten. So one of the things though, that we'd always say with uh, tennis. <clears throat> so through my entire time of my my entire tennis knowledge. <laughs>